Becky Malco. I'm number 20. I'm a junior and I'm a guard. Alexa Holland, junior guard, number 10. Ali Larkin, junior guard, number 30. Bailey Abbott, senior forward, number 24. Hi, I'm Keaton Sager. I'm a junior and I'm a forward, number 12. Grace Piper, freshman guard, number 14. Alexis Elliott, freshman guard, number 22. Kennedy Monson, freshman center, 44. Morgan Ruff, freshman guard, number 32. I'm Alexa Garrison, number 40, and a sophomore in forward. Emma Dahlquist, freshman center, number 54. Rochester Lady Zebras. At one guard will be a 5'2 junior Alexa Holland. The second guard will be a 5'4 junior Becky Malco. The third guard, 5'6 junior Allie Larkin. At one forward, 5'3 junior Keaton Stasiak. And the other forward will be a 5'6 senior Bailey Abbott. Rochester coach for Mr. Tony Stasiak in his 15th season. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. At last report, Pioneer. Number five pioneer, number leading number one Winnemac after one seven to nothing in the football regional at Winnemac High School. Absolutely, That's a big deal. TV game tonight went to Rochester over Culver Academy, 65 to 17. Morgan Ruff had 17 points. Kennedy Bumpham at 12 points. Maddie Shiley had 11, and Lexi Elliott with 10 in that win for the JV earlier this evening. The Rochester Lady Zebras in their road blacks, just like they were on Tuesday night. Black shorts, black jerseys, gold numbers, gold letters. The Academy Lady Eagles in their home white. Uh, white jerseys, white shorts, and maroon letters. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. Second game of the regular season for the Lady Zebras. You are 1-0. First game for the Academy. I'll just try to talk the entire night. Just All right. Since you're under the weather, yeah, just yeah, buzz. Yeah, don't get too close to your radio. I don't want to get anybody sick. <laughs> I wanted you to strap you down on the top on the way up here, but... <laughs> It goes to that. Yeah. Bear with me. I hope it lasts the entire ball game. <laughs> so it'll be Cal and Bailey Abbott to jump center. Rochester will go right to left, and the Academy left to right. First time in a very long time I've been in the Academy gym. And we almost didn't find it. That's about right. We walked for a mile inside <laughs> trying to find it. Ball is up, and the tip controlled by the Academy. Tires. Outside on the wing, behind the arc, dribbles to the top of the key now against Rochester. 1-2-1 one, one zone. Sires on the right wing. Now to Blackburn, down low to Cal, and then Cal throws it over the head of Blackburn and out of bounds. First turnover of the evening for the Academy, and Rochester going to get the ball. Well, that was something that Rochester Lady Zebras did a really good job too tonight against Foot Lake. It's forced them into an awful lot of turnovers. Yeah, almost 30. Man, all game. you know... And they still have an opportunity with that. Yeah, that's what Lex was in it right up until about a minute ago. So Sires works to get Malco in the backboard. Becky will cross the timeline right through the center circle. Works top of the key, now left side to X. Holland around the double team and is fouled on the reach end. And I believe the Academy Brad starting in a zone defense. Yeah, they are. They're going to play those three-point positions a lot better than what Flynn Lakes did when they started out yeah. Tuesday night. I don't think Rochester's going to get near the looks tonight they did Tuesday 30 seconds gone in the opening quarter, no score. Rochester the basketball. Larkin outside to Holland, around the defense to Malco. Becky split the defense, loose basketball, picked up by Stasiak. Close throws up a shot, she's out of the shot, she'll go to the length, she's two. Well, Keith Stasiak didn't have any points Tuesday night. She almost started this off here with a bucket. Struggle from the line, well, 0 for 2 from the line on, on, on uh, Monday night, and make that Tuesday night, and she's at the line here for the Lady Zebras. 40 seconds gone in the opening quarter, no score. And uh, Steve Stasiak is the line to shoot two. Ties it, flies it. First one's no good. It's uh, one more. She always has a knack for being in the right place at the right time. Yeah, that's saw right. that a lot last year. And that's not my accident. That's, uh, that's a lot of hard work. Yeah, to do absolutely. That. I agree. Keaton with one more. Second on the way. Good this time. Well, just rough one nothing. Sires run. Leads ahead to, to, to Blackburn. Blackburn now to Steiner, and we're going to have a charge on Steiner as she pushed off, and it'll be a second turnover on the Lady Eagles. 
Coach Chris Leach cannot believe what he just saw. So the academy in a full court press. Gene Stasiak looks triggered in. Stasiak looks, looks, bounce pass into X. Has the pass knocked away by Shires, and it'll stay with Rochester. Both these ball clubs with only one senior on yeah. the team. Bailey Abbott for Rochester and Holzer for the Academy. Becky Falco gets the pass inbound, and then she tries to pass it back to Stasiak, bounces off the leg of Steiner, and then it bounced off the leg of Stasiak and out of bounds, and it'll be turnover Rochester, and the Academy will have a pass. Steiner out to Steyer, swings left side to Blackburn. Blackburn behind the arc, down to Cal, back to, uh, to Steiner. And then to Cal, she loses out of bounds, and we we'll go back to Rochester. Lady Zebra's up with a minute gone in the first quarter, what nothing. And really only one shot at either end of the basket so yeah. far. And that turned into a foul, so I'm not even sure if you just yeah. sent that a shot. And now Becky Malco kind of tripped on that, that far sideline, and she go goes out of bounds. And they're going to say uh, no foul, but a out of bounds call against Rochester, and the Academy are going to get it back. Sires works against Rochester's zone defense, and then Blackburn travels. Well, it's week four to two in turnovers. I was going to say, we saw a ton of traveling called in the JV game. Yeah. Full court press by the Academy. Stasiak lost his top over the top of Larkin. Allen with one dribble out to Holland. High on the right side, puts it to Malco. Malco in the lane. Down low to Stasiak. Keaton shot on the way. No good, no foul. A lot of contact. And then Malco steals the pass, or makes that steals the uh, a basketball. And she is fouled by Holzer. And it'll be out of bounds to Rochester baseline left. 6.43 to play first quarter. Rochester up 1-0. Holland will look to trigger the basketball in bounds. X looks. Bounce pass into Malco in the corner. Becky gets the double team. Loses the basketball, picked up by the Academy, out stolen back by Abbott, and tied up with Steiner, and it's going to go back to Rochester. <laughs> wow. Boy, so a little, still a little help scope. Coach Chris Lee did his homework after watching the Tuesday night game. He came yeah. out with a, a plan to stop Rochester and double teamed everybody in the corner. Yeah, right. Passed down low, tipped away by the Academy, and they're going to say last touch by Rochester. We'll go back to Culver. A minute and a half gone in the first quarter. Rochester up one nothing, and now Rochester looks to, to put a little token man-to-man -man pressure on the backcourt. Blackburn across the timeline, out to Sire. Up pass down low to Blackburn, kicks it back out. Colver, her three on the way. No good. Becky Malco skies for the board and rips and runs. Malco middle of the floor for Rochester, pushes it down court to Stasiak. Now outside to Holland. X pulls up for 15 feet too long, and the rebound to the Academy. And we're going to have a uh, tie-up between Malco and Holzer, and the Academy going to keep it going back to our right. 6.07 to play, first quarter. Uh, just for up one nothing. And Steiner has the basketball. She crosses the timeline, works high on the right side, right in front of the Rochester bench. Now gets back to Sires. Sires against Malco. Sires, rising and left in the lane. Jump pass outside to Blackburn. Blackburn around the defense. Now gives to Steiner. Her jumper, the paint is good. Over Academy leads. And now the inbound pass is stolen by Steiner. Her jumper is good. Four to one. Culver. Larkin has her pocket pick. Steiner has it. She loses the basketball. Puts it to Steiner. Her jumper, no good. And Bailey Abbott with the rebound. Abbott gives to Stasiak. He runs ahead to Larkin. Larkin over the top of the scoop. Bailey Abbott, her layup is good. Four to three, Culver Academy. Steiner with the basketball high on the right side. Morgan Ruffle come in the after the uh, basketball game, the next opportunity. And Rochester runs into each other. Abbott and Malco, they're both slow to get up. X has an out running to our left. Behind the back dribble, kicks it out to Larkin, just inside the three-point line. Jumpers off the mark, no good. Rebound ball for it. Stacey going to kick up a foul. It'll be just Kennedy basketball. Well, the pace picked up a little bit there. Well, you're talking about helper, scalper. Good heavens. Yeah. Well, the turnovers have really sparked both teams, obviously. Morgan Ruff comes in, and Keaton Stasiak, as she did on Tuesday night, comes out of that three-minute gone mark. Five minutes to play in the first quarter. The Academy by one at four to three. Steyer. Jump pass over the top of the defense to Steiner. Steiner just inside the arc, 18. Where is good? Steiner has all six of the Academy points, and it's six to three. Full court press by the Academy. Falco gets it in to Bailey Abbott and gets it back from Bailey. 
Hawker brings it up the floor, around the defense. Rochester now the numbers. Bailey Abbott off the rough, and before the pass to the rough, we're going to have a reach in on Cal, I believe. That will be her second team forward. Again, a last report. Pioneer leads Minimax 7 0 late in the first half. Good Academy substitution. We'll get that number for you here soon. As Cal's come out with two fouls. Holland over the top of the defense. Gets it to Becky Malco near the Academy free throw line. Brings it up the floor. Behind her back dribble across the timeline. Now we're going to have a foul on Steiner, who really rode her up the court. And finally picked up a foul at the timeline. That'll be her second. Really? Yes. That's a big deal. Now the Academy with two girls with two fouls. Next, right in front of the uh, Academy bench. Gets it into Malco. Becky. Out of Holland, high left side, around the defense. Picks her way through the defense. Crossover dribble works left side. In the lane, throws up a shot. The window, it goes, and Rochester up. Uh, makes that down now just by one, six to five. Cortez in the game for the first time for the Academy. Here comes a double team against Dyers. Dyers then almost has a pocket pick around the defense to Steiner. And Steiner throws it out of bounds as she had holes her wide open under the basket. Trying to make a turnaround pass behind her. And Ball got away from her before she could uh, make the connection. The Academy again in a full court press. Larkin gets it in Malco. Malco misses wide open. Bailey Abbott down the floor for across the timeline against the double team around the defense to Holland. X from the baseline to Ruff. Ruff outside to Malco. To a wide open Larkin. Three left wing. Nope. Rebound ball four. Academy comes out of there with us now. Stolen by Ruff. Picked up. The loose ball picked up by Malco. To Ruff in the lane and she's going to be fouled hard by Steiners. And it's going to be out of bounds to Rochester. 3.47 to play. First quarter, the Academy up 6-5. And Morgan picks up her first, team 7. Morgan Ruff will be at the line to shoot two for Rochester with 3.47 to play in the first quarter. Of course, Morgan, Kennedy, and Grace Piper all with just three quarters here in this varsity contest. uh uh the rough free throw is no good. Oh, it's one of the bonus. Steiner to Halzer. Cover from the free throw line goes. And it's 8-5 to five call for full court press for Rochester. And the inbound pass is stolen by Steiner. Her layup is good. And that's the Stasiak with the 30-second timeout. You're listening to Lady Seaver Basketball 92.1 WROI. to play in the first quarter here at Culver Academy. The Lady Eagles leading Rochester 10 to 5. And we just got a score update. The uh, Pioneer Panthers leading Winnemac in the regional Class A regional football game at Winnemac 14 to nothing. Yeah, they do. Of course, Pioneers only lost, what, three games in the last two years? Yeah. They've all been to Winnemac. Yeah. So, four court best for the Academy. Holland back to Larkin. Alley walks it just the floor, not a Malco. Crosses the timeline left. Malco gets a double team. Runs away from that inside the three-point line. Now the paint throws up a shot. The glass is good. That works for perfection. Now ahead is the shot is blocked by Rochester. Cortez misses the shot. Holland picks it up. Malco hustling down the floor, getting the block. Out to Larkin. Swings right side to Malco behind the arc. She drives the paint, loses the handle. Paul tied up. It's going to stay with Rochester out of bounds. And Malco hits the floor hard. Yeah, great job. Cortez had a wide open yeah, play up. Back to Malco comes the full length of the floor at full speed and was able to uh, block that off the bank board. Stasiak will come back into the game. And Keaton will re bank. Keaton's going to replace Bailey Abbott. Also in the game for the first time, Katie Garland. And with two fouls. 
Steiner comes out of the game. Holland baseline right, looks to get it inbound. Next study, over the top of the defense, to Palco between the ring. Palco gets the double team, splits it to Holland. X rolls right, goes to basket hard, moves him a shot, no good. Stays the end of the rebound. Her put back is blocked. Picked up by Steiner. Uh, makes out holes and she travels, no call. Now it down low to Garland and she loses out of bounds. It'll go back to Rochester. Boy, you called you hit it on the head, Brad. This is gonna be rough. And it yeah, is. Ken Seven, the Academy. Larkin looks to get it in. Gotta hurry. Just to the Holland. And then Tech travels. Yeah. It did. Another turnover on Rochester, 2.42 to play in the first quarter. I don't think she expected the double team to be right there on the baseline, and when she caught and turned her head to look up the court, she kind of shuffled her feet. Academy has it. Garland, swings left side to Cortez. Cortez back to Sire. Sire behind the right side, cross over to works left, now back to the right side, she'll shoot a three over Holland. High, parking shot goes, and it's 13 to seven, the Academy. Full court press by Culver. Malco runs it up to four, gives a triple team. Stop. Out to Larkin. Alley ahead to Mal Malco. Becky across the timeline, back to Larkin between the rings, works left side to Holland. Heck, around the double team. Pulls it back outside, now to Becky, 210 to a wide open Larkin. Alley's shot, no good, a lot of contact, no foul. Malco the rebound to Ruff, down low to Stasiak. Keaton's shot, no good, but a foul coming on the Academy, and that's going to send Keaton Stasiak back to play to shoot two. Foul coming against Holzer, her second. 2.02 to play in the first quarter. The Academy up 13 to 7. Stays the extra line to shoot two. First one for the junior. Yep. So have another one. End of the game for the first time is McGinnis. And Holzer with two fouls will sit. So a slew of girls in the first quarter for the Academy with two fouls. Right. Stays the second one good again. 13 to 9. Culver. Two minutes to play in the first quarter. Sire puts him to four. Now the right wing. Behind the arc. Sire gives top to Blackburn. Blackburn through the defense. Kicked it out to Garner. Charlotte has her pass almost stolen. And now she loses it out of bounds. And go back to Rochester. Steiner, Kyle, and Holzer for the academy all with two fouls. Over in a full court press. Malco gets it in, pushes it up the floor, through the defense, now through the center circle. Picks up a dribble, high on the right side to Holland, back to Malco. Quickly to Larkin, in the lane to Stasiak, dribbles it off her foot, nope, dribbles it off the academy's foot, and out of bounds. Lady Zebra's doing a better job that time of moving the ball before the defense can get set. They've got to keep that ball moving quickly so the double team can't come. Minute 37 to play first quarter, over by four. Becky Malco around the defense, the free throw line, pulls up and throws it out of bounds. Well, again at halftime, football, Pioneer leads Winnemac 14 to nothing. Winnemac has 100 yards of penalty wow. in the first half. That's not good. Full court press, and if Bailey Abbott commits a foul, with 90 seconds of play in the first quarter, again, the Academy up 13 to nine, and well, they've been up for most of this, yeah, most of this quarter. They have, they've led the whole game. Rochester to full court press. Cortez looks to get it in. Still looking for Blackford, gets it in Blackford. She dribbles it off her knee, then travels. The Rochester going to get it back. Rochester first for the game. The minute 29 play in the first quarter. Now go. The 1-3-1 one, one zone against the Academy. Kicks it out to Holland. X for a quick three on the wing. Nope, too hard. Rebound ball four. Stacey Act comes out of there with it. And then has to take it away by Blackburn. Blackburn, then it is stolen by Ruff. Down to Stasiak, way up on the window. Good. Taking it by Malco, no good. Malco the rebound, kicks it out to Holland, and they'll reset. Holland is ready. up a shot off the window. Stop it. Fires. Against Stasiak, loses their handle, loses the dribble, throws it up for prayer. Blackburn now has it, going wide open court. Stands, way up, good. <laughs> Rochester down by 9 to 45 seconds to play first quarter. Holland around the defense, bounce pass to Ruff. Morgan has her pocket pick, and gets her ball back. And then she's gonna be hot. <laughs> One and the bonus. Well, he's just more hot. He was, when they, 
Second quarter as Solar Academy leads Rochester 15 to 10. The Lady Zebras will start the second period of the basketball. Holland, Malco, Larkin, Stasiak, and Bailey Abbott on the floor for the Lady Zebras. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. Rochester going to our left. And man defense. Holland around the defense, wrap around pass is taken away by Blackburn. Blackburn pushes for Rochester. Across the timeline to the center circle. Still has the ball. Goes up a shot from the left side of the lane and he goes. Nobody stops the ball. Full court press. Four over, and then Rochester loses out of bounds, and we go back to the academy. I'm really shocked at how much trouble Rochester's having with this press. Yeah, I agree. Steyer, uh, Steiner, that is, will look to get it in. Steyer's still on the bench for the academy. I guess that's a testament to CMA's defense. 19.6 to play in the first quarter. We have Chester. Uh, make that Malco. Pushes up the floor, left side, finder back dribble. Against the double team, loses the handle. Now Steiner has it. Steiner runs for the academy. Right side of the floor, now pulls up against the double team. Gets rid of it, pass to stolen. Now is by Holland. X gets it to Stasiak. Keith ahead to Falco, she's tripped. Boy, Rochester hitting the floor hard tonight. A lot of, a lot of uh, feet getting tangled up. Well, this academy keeps every bit as quick as Rochester is. And Rochester's not really getting a lot of good passing lanes opened up. Academy's got their hands and, their, and sometimes their feet yeah. tangled in there. At the line, Becky Malco had a fantastic career high night on Tuesday at Twin Lake. She hits her first free throw. Cuts this Academy a lead to six. Bailey Abbott comes out of the game, and Hannah O'Dell comes in for the first time for Rochester. Malco with one more, looking to cut the lead to five. The second one by the juniors, good again. 17 to 12, full court press now by the Lady Zebras. Cortez gets it into Blackburn. Blackburn pushes up the floor, now on the right side of the floor, looks back door, pass taken away by Stasiak. Keaton around the defense to Malco, to Holland. Heck, picks away from traffic, pushes up the floor to Larkin. Larkin. As the pass hit the way and stolen by the Academy. Blackburn comes back down the floor for Culver, and she travels. Culver leading 15, uh, 17 to 12 with 6.45 to play in the first half. The JV game tonight went to Rochester over the Academy, for, uh, 65 to 17. And Culver now will use a 30 second timeout. You're listening to Lady Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI. Got almost an identical score in turnovers. 6.49 to play in the first half. In the Academy leading 17 to 12. And it's 17 15 in turnovers. Who does? We do? Academy. Really? Well, if you're gonna win a, if you're gonna win the game, you might as well lead in every category. Yeah, very good, yeah. Again, the uh, JV game tonight with the Rochester over uh, the Academy 65 to 17. Morgan Ruff with 16, Kennedy Musselman with 12, Patty Shively with 11, and Lexi Elliott with 10. And that's win tonight for the JV. At last report, the regional football uh, contest at Winnemac tonight, number five Pioneer, leading number one Winnemac, 14 to nothing. And Winnemac has 100 yards of penalties in the first half. Pioneer does not have one penalty. Wow. So after the timeout, It'll be Rochester basketball going to our left. 
Culver still in that full court press. Stasiak will look to trigger it in right in front of the uh, right in front of her bench. Dayton slaps the basketball. Then things in motion. Bounce pass it to Holland. Hex around the defense. Hex in the lane. Loses the handle. Gets it back. Out to Larkin. Beats down low. Pass knocked out of bounds by Cortez. Yikes. Here comes Sires back into the game. Rochester could not get anything done with Sires on the bench. He comes back in. And Garland comes out. Hex, baseline left. Looks to get it in. Just go to Larkin. Around the defense. Free throw line. Jump pass to Stasiak. Jump over. The window. Good. And the lead now is down to three. Blackburn quickly up the floor, gets a chicken sire, just clears the carry, and almost goes out of bounds. It's going out of bounds to Stasiak, and he steps on the end line and goes back to the academy. Holder will come back into the game. And coming out of Blackburn, he's had a pretty good first half for the Academy Eagles. That looks good at about one, one bucket. She's uh, handled the point very well. Steiner, baseline left, looking to get it in around Odell. Steiner's looking, 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 and she could not get it in. There's a five count turn over Rochester. Nice job by Hannah Odell, who is pounding the inbound passer. Academy quickly in a full court press. He's to get it in, that's with a Malco. Then she pushes around the double team, and the Academy got away from the reach in. Holland has it outside left, now to back to Larkin. Larkin. Gets the ball to Malco. Back to Larkin. Has the pass stolen. And now taken away by the Academy. Cortez. Baseline. Jumper. No good. And the rebound to Rochester. And Cortez is going to come over the back and get a foul. Well, nice job by Holland. Hustled down to try and defend that, that basket by Cortez. But then she did a good job of just turning around and blocking her out. So she couldn't get the rebound off the net. Six to play. In the first half, Rochester down by three, and Alexa Holland at the line to shoot one and make that two shots for Rochester. Well, the majority of Rochester's points coming from the free throw line here in the first half. That free throw off the mark. Back into the game is Bailey Abbott, and Hannah Odell will sit. Well, we got, I think we got a lane violation on Culver. I think we have a lane violation on Culver, so Beck is going to have two free throws. That was whistled against McGinnis. Free throw for X, she makes that one count. It's good. She has an opportunity to cut this lead to one. With 6 0 to play in the first half. Coming up at halftime, University coach Bethany Sewell will join us to talk about that big win. Second was good by the junior, and it's 17 16, full court press by the Lady Zebras. Holzer gets it in to McGinnis. Now Sires with the basketball against Falco. Sires high on the right side. Looks back door down low to Steiner. She puts the shot up. Good the foul. I tell you what, that's the second time I think Steiner has got away with a continuation of that time she got to hoop the ball. Yeah, you're right. That foul coming against Abbott for second. So at the free throw line will be Marie Steiner, a 5'9 junior, and she'll have one free throw looking to push this lead back to four. Steiner's free throw on the way is good. Hannah Odell will come back in, and she'll replace Bailey Abbott with two personal fouls. We'll call her again in that full court press. I don't know if they haven't been in a full court press tonight. I think they've pressed a good really start. Stasiak lobs it in to Malco. Becky then is fouled before the travel. Nope, they're going to call travel. Becky Malco hit hard. And the official across the way, call the travel. 5.55 to play first half. And now we're going to have a legal screen on McGinnis. And Kurt Rogers is going to get a back. <laughs> wow. Oh. 2016 Culver, 554 to play in the first half. Now go across the timeline, around Cortez, loses the handle, picked up by Odell, out to Holland, out of Malco. Becky around the double team, drives to the basket, drives to the baseline, dump pass down a little stage action, foul the shot, over the line to shoot two. 
Nice wraparound pass to Malco. Keaton Stasiak working hard now though for Warden with a foul. She's going to the line to shoot two. That foul's off hold for the third. Yes. And coming back into the game will be Cal after the first free throw by Keaton Stasiak. The yeah, half penalties are going to start creeping up on CMA. Heisen flies it, rattles in. We'll have one more. So Cal back in. And coming out of the game with Colzer, Blackburn will come back in for Culver. And she'll replace McGinnis. Stasiak will at the line for one more. They'll need to cut this lead back to two. 538 to play in the first half. Over in all sorts of foul difficulties right now. Yeah, Steiner with two, Cowell with two, Bolzer with three. Stasiak hits again. And now Coach Stasiak will use another 30 second timeout. You're listening to Lady Fever Basketball, 92.1 WROI. Rochester down by two. They've been down most of the uh, most of the first half. The only time they led was one nothing. Yeah, and uh, you know, CMA's defense has really been the key behind that. They've had a, a really good job on that full court press, causing some turnovers and getting some easy buckets at the other end here. The Culver will walk it up the floor. Blackburn will do that. Nope, she gives off the tires. The tires will bring it up the floor. Rochester looking. And maybe a run and jump defense. Here comes the double team. Tires picks it up over the top of the defense to Steiner. Down low, pops it away. Right there, Culver to pick it up, and we're going to have a pushing foul on that Malco is holding her right elbow. I think she took a ding of that right elbow on Tuesday night. She gets up. And Malco picks up her first. Yep. So Cal will look to trigger it in baseline right for the Academy Eagles. Cal looks, study, 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 study. Finally gets it into wide open black and takes a 15 footer, no good. Rebound ball four, and we're gonna have a tie up between Stasiak and Cortez. And it will stay with the Academy. Nope. Actually we got one tie up and one foul. Off over. We're gonna have a foul. We're gonna have a foul on Stasiak. No, we're gonna foul on Malco. Malco picks up her second. So that'll be the team six. And Morgan Ruff will come back into the game for Becky Malco as two personal fouls and still come out for a well-deserved break. Baseline left for the Lady Eagles. Cal looks to get it in, does throw to the top to Steiner. Steiner in the paint, rises up at the free throw line, jumper draws nothing but air, kicked out of bounds by the Eagles, and it'll go back to Rochester. Rochester struggling to even get uh, somebody in for the rebound right now. CMA doing a good job of blocking everybody off. Stasiak inbound pass to Holland, and she is fouled by Steiner, and that's going to send Holland to the line to shoot two for the Lady Zebras, looking to tie this thing at 20. As ugly as it's been, Rochester still able here to tie it up. Yeah, you're right. Spires going to pick up her first. Her fourth? First. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Holland makes the first one. She'll have one more looking to tie this with 20. Rochester has four field goals. Everything else is from the fly. The thing they're hitting them. Second one good again. We're tied at 20. 5.17 to play in the first half. Rochester on defense. Blackburn around the defense. Out to Sires. Sires jumps over the defense. Gives to Blackburn. Down to Cortez. And her shot's blocked. But Larkin got a piece of the arm. And that's going to take Cortez to the line for two. Larkin got to of her first. There's so much. There's so much. Attention given to Sires is almost defense stops and watches. Yeah. And then 
Comer doesn't stop, and he got way over looking for the block. They've been able to get people down below underneath the defense of the Lady Zebras on several occasions. Cortez, first free throw off the last and in. Yep. And I would guess that uh, Coach Chris Reed is going to be drawing up some plays to take advantage of that in the second yep. half. They, they've been able to find it a few times in the first half. But... Cortez, a sophomore, will have one more. Second on the way. Too hard, no good. And the rebound to Stasiak. I tell you what, Cal got away with the rebound. Stasiak runs, and now Tyrus picks up foul number two. And Keaton will go back to the line to shoot two. And now we've got a plethora of two, two, play, it's fouls with two uh, players with two fouls. Tyrus with two, Steiner with two, yeah. Cal with two, Holzer with three. That's your starting five. Cortez has two, and Garland off the bench with three. Stasiak will have two. First one for the junior. Good. Kennedy Musselman checks in for the first time tonight with six foot freshman. And Hannah Odell to come out. Also back in as Garland for the Academy. I don't know who came out. I'm guessing Styers. Yeah, Styers came out. Stasiak second one. Good again. Rochester back up for the first time. It's one nothing. They lead 22-21. Quickly down the floor is the Academy. Steiner to Blackburn. And Blackburn runs around Musselman who stuck an arm out, tried to stop her, committed a foul, and took her to the line to shoot one of the bonus. One of the bonus for Blackburn, the 5-3 sophomore, at the line, eyes the first one. First one away is no good. Short, but an offensive rebound to Garland, and she gives out to Blackburn. Blackburn behind the arc, his right side to Steiner, wide open three from the wing, yep, wide open three. Wow. Full court press by his academy, next quickly down the floor, Holland in the middle of the floor, his right side to Ruff, Ruff over the top of the defense to Holland, stands in the middle between the rings. Works left wing, bounce pass to Larkin, wide open three, passes it up, now dribbles to the top of the key, and she carries it. Yep. Rochester really just kind of standing around, not really sure what they're doing here. 24-22, the Academy might do with 428 to play in the first half. Lady Eagles with the basketball. Blackburn will bring it up and pass it ahead to Steiner. Steiner against the 2-1-2 zone or 2-3 zone. The pass is almost stolen, but Steiner gets it back. Just side to Blackburn, three from the wing. No good. Kennedy muscle move the rebound. And outlet to Ruff. Ruff now gives to Holland. Holland runs middle of the floor. Now left side of the floor. Goes to the basket. Goes to the shot. It's good. It was tied at 22. Big thing, 24. Four minutes to play first half. Blackburn to the center circle. Works the left elbow. Outside to Garland. Garland picks up a dribble over the top of the defense to Cowan. Gives back to Steiner. Back to Blackburn. High on the left side. Now inside the arc. Ball loose. Picked up by Garland. Outside to Cortez, back to Blackburn. Blackburn to the left corner. Gives top of the key to Cal. Swings near side to Steiner. She'll fire another three over Ruff. It's short. Rebound to Kennedy Musselman. And Musselman trying to get rid of it. Finally does to Ruff. Ruff pushes middle of four. No look pass to Holland. On the right elbow. Now backs it out. She'll fire a three from the right, right side. Good, good. Long rebound. Hold in by Cortez and the Academy Eagles. Cortez runs. He's ahead to Garland, just inside the three-point line. Jumper off the mark, no good. And the rebound knocked out of bounds by the Lady Eagles. They're going to go back to Rochester. Oh, my goodness. They're going to give it back to the academy as the wow. Eagles knocked it out of bounds. Cal will look to step out it. Cal looking over the top to Garland. Garland now between the circles. Just high on the right side. Just Steiner. 24-24, 3 10 to play in the first half. Cortez the basketball, dribbles to the middle of the floor, sends up side to Garland behind the arc. Garland picks up her dribble behind the three-point line in the corner to Blackburn. Wide open three for the Lady Eagles is short. Stasiak with the board. Keep for Rochester. Bounce pass to Larkin. Now ahead to Holland. X, high on the right side for Rochester. Dribbles around the defense, down the paint. Wrap around pass to Stasiak. Keep loose the basketball. Ball loose. Still loose. They're going to have a tie-up. And it should go uh, goes back to the academy. 242 to play in the first half. We're tied at 24. Rochester will pick the uh, Lady Eagles up. Three-quarter court. And Blackford on the jog. Across the sideline right here comes the run and jump defense. And Larkin kicks the ball with a pass out of bounds. 
It'll stay with the academy right uh, in front of the Rochester bench. 2.36 to play, first half. We're tied at 24. Pass comes into Blackburn. Wrap around pass outside to Steiner. Her three is no too long. Weak side rebound to the academy. Lost out of bounds. Either back to Rochester. Well, Rochester really gets killed on the board. They're not able to get to the position they need to get to in order to get those weak side rebounds. Well, again, Coach Stasiak will pull, pull it out. Pioneer leads Winnipeg 21 to nothing. Holy cow. With nine minutes to play in the third. Hunt went down low. is going to be tied up. And he'll stay with Rochester. I would not have ever guessed that kind of a score. I agree. Here's what I like to see. Obviously, being the father of the youngster down low, <laughs> Keith Stasiak is directing Kennedy on what to do. Right. I love it. Yeah. Teach the youngster what to do. Pass gets into Ruff. Now to Holland. Heck, down low to Bustleman. Bustleman's jumper is no good. A lot of contact, no foul. And Stasiak and Steiner is tied up. It'll go back to the academy. Five to play. The first half are tied at 24. Steiner will make that black and loses the basketball. Holland picks it up, loses it, ball loose, tipped out of bounds by the Academy. It's going to go to Rochester. 21 to nothing. Wow. So Stasiak will look to uh, spread it out again. Winamax team that averages just under 50 points a game. It's hard to believe they just shut, just out. shut out. Back into the game is McGinnis and coming out. It's Steiner. Grace Piper will come in for the first opportunity tonight, as the next opportunity for the first time, I should say. Holland, high on the right side to Ruff. Stasiak, Keith back to Ruff, high on the right wing. Ruff around the defense. Goes to the basket, she's going to be fouled on the drive. And she'll go to the line to shoot two. The minute 48 to play in the first half. The freshman will go back to the line, I think, for her third trip. Garland is going to pick up her fourth. We're not even a halftime ball. She didn't even start. No. Well, free throw is no good, so we'll have one more. Grace Pfeiffer in for it, and uh, Ali Larkin will sit down. Three freshmen on the floor right now for Rochester and two juniors. Yikes. Yeah. Minute 48 to play the first half. We're tied at 24. Rough second one, no good, in and out. And Kennedy Muscle, they just picked up foul number two. We're coming over the back, not very smart. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, yeah. her, her time is limited, but she's making the most. Yeah, of it. I guess that's right. So at the free throw line is Cal, and she'll have two. We're tied at 24, 90 seconds to play in the first half. Emma Douglas will have to come in. No. Now, wait a minute. Who's that foul whistle again? Well, that may be what they're talking about here. I don't think there is an 11 for Rochester. Officials still at the score table talking to the uh, officials. Now, talking to Coach Chris Lee with the Lady Eagles. Trying to get them straightened out. And I'm just... Yeah, get, yeah. Now they got it right. Okay. So at the free throw line is Cal. 90 seconds to play in the first half. We're tied at 24 and have been for a while. Free throw on the way. High off the back of the rim and goes through. How many total fouls do you have at? Uh, I could count to 10. Second one is off the window, no good. Rebound by Holland. Quick, you count to 10. Yeah. Holland outside, not a rough. Rough around the defense. High on the right wing, looks back to the safety act. Has on the block, goes, kicks it out to Holland. Not a rough. Back to Steve Young, left block, gives the golf, which loses it out of bounds. A minute 13 to play in the first half. 25-24, the Academy on top. 
Blackburn through the center circle against the zone defense. Wrap around pass to Garland. She'll fire a three. No good. And fire for the rebound. Grace then is fouled by Blackburn and she'll go to the line to shoot two. Grace Piper, who had the technical uh, free throws in the first game, has two here. The freshman fired first and is good. We're tied at 25. Allie Larkin to match comes back into the game. And Emma Dalton will come out. Emma Dalton, a six-foot freshman as well for the Lady Zebras. That's the 11th free throw in this quarter alone for the Lady Zebras. Rochester has not had a lead any bigger than one. Coming at 24, uh, 22, 21. Now we're going to have a lane violation on Larkin. And we're not going to get a chance to take the lead. Another turnover on the Lady Zebras. Tied at 24, 62 seconds to play in the first half. Blackburn, here comes the running jump defense. Move the top goal by Stasiak. Keaton out of Larkin. Allie runs for the Lady Zebras. We're tied at 25 with 50 seconds to play in the first half in the quarter to run. Russ is cutting Stasiak. Keaton has the pass put away and out of bounds. Man, there's a lot of contact down low. No call. Keaton loses out of bounds in the back of the academy. 40 seconds to play first half. Blackburn around the defense. Now gets a double team. Wrap around past the Cal. Cal oh, double dribble. Double. And I would imagine Coach Stasiak will probably look for the final shot of the year period. 36.3 to play in the first half for tied at 25. You can't get the ugly, can it? No, I was just going to say, I thought that's what that meant when Tony stomped his foot and clapped his hand. Doesn't that mean pull it out? Usually. Yeah. Pfeiffer in the corner, loses it out of bounds. 27 seconds to play in first half. We're tied at 25. Culver's had a lead as big as five or six in this half. Right. Blackburn, across the timeline, pass deflected right into the hands of McGinnis, who traveled, no call. McGinnis runs around the defense out of Blackburn. Blackburn's the baseline, wrap around pass, knocked out of bounds by Ruff. Ruff come out of nowhere to knock that out of bounds. It'll stay with Culver with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Good hustle by Ruff once again. The CMA uh, had the open player on the weak side of the floor. Cal. Ball's loose. Holland holds it down with 14. Hex on the wing. Picks up a dribble. Push. No call. Gets it out to Larkin with seven. Larkin. Double dribbles with five. Over the top of the defense to rough with three. Her jumper at the buzzer is good. Rochester leads the halftime. 20, yep, 27 25. You're listening to Ladies Year Basketball 93.1 WROI. Early in the fourth quarter. Pioneer punch or make that Winnemac and punch one in, but just the BAT. And Pioneer now leads 21 to 6. So Rochester will start the second half with the basketball. Holland, Stasiak, Falco, Larkin, and Bailey Abbott on the floor. Shoot down would have been at Andrean tonight up in Merrillville. Not seen any scores on that. They probably had to push the snow on the got, field. Yeah, may have got snowed out. So, you know. Two G zone started by defensively for Culver. Larkin for three from the corner. He's in and out, no good. Stays back with the putback, no good. And the rebound to Holzer. She pushes ahead to Cal. Cal with the top of the defense to Sires. Sires for three, right wing. In and out, no good. Holland with the rebound. Heck, baseball pass down the floor. Splits the coverage, goes out of bounds. And Rochester is going to give it back to the academy. 30 seconds gone here in the opening quarter, or in the uh, third quarter. Boy, Rochester, an opportunity there to go up by five. Martin had a great look, I thought it was half, and get the ball. Steyer's across the timeline, he gets a double team. Has Steyer in the corner. She had a teammate open. And now pass, pick it off. I think you now go, her face left, it doesn't go on. Rochester, the biggest student I have for 25. Steyer. Gets the double team, picks the way to the defense. Ball loose, picked up by Holland. Holland pushes for Rogers, left side of the floor. Holland now will slow up, will pull it back outside, gets to Malco Tom McKinney. 
Necky bounce past the Marcus, swings it on a three, forces it down low to Stasiak, gives it to a cutting Holland, pass the shot's no good, Stasiak with a put back her shot's good. And now we're going to have a timeout taken by the Academy. It is a 30, it's the Lady Zealand Basketball, 92.1 WROI. Rochester up 31-25, and Palmer after their uh, timeout with the basketball. And that last bucket, basically set up a Bailey Abbott. She did a great job with the offensive board, gave it up to Stasiak, who finished it. Yeah, she did. That was something that the uh, Lady Zebras weren't doing very well in the first half, was getting the offensive boards. Blackburn against the double team, dribbles into a triple team and travels. Rochester's turned up the defensive intensity just above here. The so call will be in a full court press. It is interesting to see if Stasiak works on the first breaker in the locker room. Teach, now pass into Malco. Back to Stasiak. Teach runs middle of the floor. Cross the timeline. Now pass to Malco on the right wing. Back to Stasiak at the free throw line. Jump on the way in and out. No good. And a rebound to the academy. Holzer now runs. Holzer. Down low to uh, Blackburn, who digs it out to Sires. Sires penetrates, pulls up for 15 feet, throws up a prayer, no good. Rebound to Stasiak. Gives to Holland. X has a strip from behind. Now picks up the loose ball. Well, they're going to say Holland does a great thing with screening the defender and let it roll out of bounds. That's a culver. Uh, picks her pocket a little bit. Not to lose, I should say. 6.07 to play, third quarter. Holland gets it in to wide open Malco. Becky at the elbow, down the paint. Cut off by the defense, now a little Stasiak, shot goes good. Rebound tips around, Malco comes out of there with it. Becky wraps around past the X, three in the way, left wing, no good, in and out. The rebound put back by Allen, it's good! Not just doing a much better job of getting the rebounding on the weak side. Miners, outside the holes are three, top of the key, short. And Colwell all of a sudden one and done. Stays here the rebound out of Malco. An eight-point lead for the Lady Zebras with five and a half to play in the third. Malco picks up the basketball. Outside to Larkin. Larkin wraps around past the knock of the key. Becky drives to paint. A pass down to the Bailey Abbott. Cover's good! Ten-point lead for, Col uh, for Rochester. Steiner. Out of Steyer. Steyer. Crossover dribble works to the right side. Over the top of the pass to Steiner. Back to wide open Holzer. She'll fire three over Malco. Holly off the back of the rim. This is Mabel the backboard. No good. Rochester's going to get a bat. Stasiak comes down after her three minutes to her duty in the corner. And after, uh, makes a pass. Hodel comes in. And now Coach Chris Lee and the Lady Eagles will take a timeout. in the a 30. You're listening to Ladies Eagles basketball. And if you play one, we'll do a fly. Welcome back to the Academy, 35, 35, 25. Rochester now up by 10. And here's another thing that surprised me. They kind of got away from me. Culver's down to the final timeout. Oh, wow. Already. So they got the foul situation to a specific foul. Now they're down to the final and, and they trail by 10. Yeah, 5 9 to play. In the third quarter, Rochester on a, well, 8-0 run this quarter, like you said, Brad. Yeah. They overall. Yeah, they scored the last two points and a half. They take the lead, their first lead of the game, wasn't it? They were up one nothing, okay. I think, up, up maybe 21 20. All right. Yeah. The Rochester's doing a much better job of moving the basketball on offense. They're doing a much better job of rebounding at both ends of the floor. I mean, Rochester basketball. Larkin gets it into Abbott. Back to Mark. Full court press by the Academy. Now to Holland. Back to Larkin. As you can see, they did work on something at halftime on that press by getting the ball to the middle of the floor and yeah. kind of trying to work it up yeah. the ring. Holland back to Larkin between the ring. Right side to Malco. Back to Larkin. The X to Larkin right wing. Looking down low to Hanna Odell, working hard. And now, Falco gets a pocket pick, but then Culver travels. They're letting him play. A lot of hand checking going on. A lot of hand checking. A lot of hand checking. Yeah. <laughs> 4.45 to play in the third. Rochester by 10. That's the ring. High 25. Falco across the timeline again. 2 1. 3 1 zone. 2-3 zone, diamond and two, I don't know, diamond and one. That's uh, it, yeah. Malco, one dribble, out to Holland. And on the left side, drives it. Gets the corner to Larkin, spot open three on the way. Good! Allie Larkin, there your first three of the game. Now Larkin's run by 14. Fire, high on the right side to the academy. Flip the defense, down low to wide open channel. Her jump is so good, the point blank range. And Larkin with the rebound. 
Dyer's outside. Gonna get her ready for the jump ball. It's gonna be jump ball as she and Stacey had tied up with Davis Culver. A minute 36 to play in the third. Rochester's lead down to six at 113. Minute 36 to play in the third quarter. Rochester by six. Again, it skips it in. Cortez. Out of Steyer. The Steiner. Three. Right wing on the way. Good again. And right there is where they're kind of back into this lead. If they open three pointers, that's the third one this quarter. Ball in the full court press. Stasiak around the press to Markin. Markin on the baseline. It's going to be foul going to the basket. That's only the third foul called his half. That foul is off the tennis for second. Coming back at the game is Blackburn. The Blackburn replaces Sires in the Culver lineup. With a minute 14 to play in the third. Rochester's lead down to three. Holland over the top of the defense to Larkin. Back to Holland. X for three. Right side. In and out. No good. Read out different rounds. Larkin has the trouble from the free throw. Go on! 42-37. Rochester's lead back five with under a minute to play in the third quarter. Again, it's under dribble tipped away by Stasiak. It's going to be called for a reach in and under 18 seconds. 55.6 to play in the third. Rochester by five. Again, it's a look to trigger it in. Guinness gets it into Cortez. Put on the line, jump on the way, no good. Rebound to Kate Stasiak. Stasiak, travel, no call. Picks up her dribble. That gives to Larkin. Larkin gets the double team. She's tied up on a pistol. He presents with 45 seconds to play in the third. That's what Stasiak really likes to control this ball for the last 45 seconds. Yeah. To get a shot. I think we said that in the first piece of the first two quarters. Too. Right. TMA's really ratcheted up the defense. He does want to pull it out. Holland to Larkin. Over the top of the defense to Holland, quickly left side to Stasiak. Deep back to Holland, middle of the floor. To Bailey out of the free throw line, out to Keaton Stasiak. Yep. Deep. Now to Kennedy. Outside to Holland. Now to Larkin with 25. They got to look before they throw. X to Stasiak. Back to Holland with 20. Now to Keaton with 18. Keaton, one dribble. Right side to Larkin with 15. She drives. Puts up a shot for five. But it goes! 11 seconds to play. In the third, Rochester's lead back to seven at 44-37. 11 seconds to play in the third. With 10, quickly to Steiner with six. Steiner picks up a dribble. Ball loose for three. Stasiak fights for it. Culver has it with one. Blackburn gets it ahead, and that's going to do it for the third. After three, Rochester up by seven. You're listening to Ladies Team of Basketball, 92.1 WROI. 44-37, Rochester up as we go to the fourth and final quarter here at Culver Academy. And the starters back on the floor for, well, nope, everybody but Larkin is back on the floor. So it's Ruff, Malco, Stasiak, Abbott, and Holland. Culver will keep Steyers on the bench. It'll be Culver basketball start the fourth and final period here. Brad Thomas, I'm David Buffalo, who's seen us. Well, the scoreboard version of a pretty good game, it's been ugly. Right, there's not been too many fouls called in that third quarter. Yeah, you're right. right. First half. And Blackburn is a bit to travel and is going to give it back to Rochester. But turnovers keep the mounting. Yeah. Where are we at? Uh, we're at 41 on CMA. Russ is the basketball inbound to Stasiak. Back to Keaton, now ahead to Malco. Now to the right side of the floor. Pulls up for 15 feet. Jump on the way, it's good. That's a big shot. Rochester back by nine, and Blackburn is hurt, holding her finger. Sires will come in for her. She'll come out. Malco had a career high 25 on Tuesday night. Dislocated? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. He got eight here tonight. Blackburn just left the floor with a dislocated thumb. Yeah. I'm glad I didn't see that, or I'd have probably been. <laughs> I might have to finish chucking. <laughs> No, I don't finish it. Oh, okay. I just shoot myself. Yeah, all right. Lose my cookies. Nine-point lead for Rochester. Dyer switches off, no call. Dyer crosses the timeline against Ruff. And we're going to have a target oh. on Dyer. That's, That's a great play by the freshman. Ruff takes that target and got it. That's Dyer's third foul. 
after all the stuff that they were to do, they called that open. Yeah. Well, we'll get it back up next time. For the basketball. Oh. You want the pass it? Want to control the basketball. That's Third. Rochester's 30th turnover. Yeah. 30 seconds gone in the uh, fourth quarter. Rochester by nine. Cortez gets the ball from the top of the defense. He pull, pulls up to two. No good. Rebound hauled down by Kohler. And Stasiak takes the pass away. And now we're going to have a reach in on McGinnis. That's going to be out of bounds to the Lady Dinkers. That's the third foul of McGinnis. So Stasiak talks about one. Back in the game is Holzer, and coming out is Frank. Seven twenty to play in the game. Back to Malco has the back to get the double team. Gets it back to Stasiak. Gives the head to Holland. Rochester with the numbers to run. Holland high on the right side. Now inside the three point line and loses the basketball. The bounce with the back to Kohler. 7-10 to play the game, Rochester by 9. Rochester the full court press. Holzer looks to get in. Just so to Cortez. Cortez in the elbow. Big number dribble. Now outside to Holzer. Holzer just in front. Three-point arc. Now back to uh, Cortez. Right side to Stires. Stires. Jump pass over the defense to Holzer. Three straight away. Nope. Rebound to Stires. Stires step back three. She passes it up just to Holzer. Now in the corner. And... McGinnis travels, and the Rochester are going to get it back. How many turnovers does Culver have? 40? 42 now. No. Yeah. 42 turnovers. 72 turnovers tonight in this ball game. Yeah, I'm going to get through. Full court press by the academy. Stacey Act pushes, middle of the floor. He leaves ahead to Ruff. Morgan with the basketball. Dribbles one over the top of the defense to Holland. Next, back to Ruff, left swing. Now back past the top of the away. Top of the D is good! You get extra credit for hitting every part of the rim yep. and the bank board. Now stolen by Ruff. Morgan broke for the shot. Shot stolen off. 51 37. Cortez double from the free throw line for Culver's and out no good. Stacey had to rebound and run. Now it's Buck giving him out no. Rochester by 14. It's 51 to 37. And now Rochester will want to take the air out of it here a little bit with six to play in the game. Holland against the double team. Dribbles out of that. Split the double team, now dribbles to the volleyball line. Bounce pass to Ruff. Ruff kicks it out to Bailey Abbott. Ruff is found on the drive. And it'll be out of bounds for Rochester. With 14 seconds, to, or, sorry, 14 point lead with 557 to play in the game. Steiner picks up for third. Getting out of, out of bounds to Rochester, baseline left. Holland will look to trigger it in. Heck, flash the ball, sends things in motion. Bounce pass into Ruff, off her backside, out of bounds. He never did see it. Turn over Rochester. Yep. Ball comes into Cortez. Crosses the timeline for Calder. Cortez flags it left. Out of McGinnis to Halter from the elbow. Shot rattled in. 51-39, full court press by the Lady Eagles. Malco, back to Stasiak, middle of the floor, back to Malco on the left side. Cross the timeline, middle of the floor. Abby Larkin will come back, Allie Larkin will come back in with the next opportunity. Keen holds in the center circle. Now dribbles once, out to Holland near the timeline, now to Malco on the left side. Bounce pass to Holland, X around the defense. Gives outside to Keen Stasiak, right in front of Dad. Dribbles out near the timeline. Bounce pass out of Malco to the center circle. 5.15 to play in the game. Rochester by 12. Malco backs the way in through inside the three-point line. Down in the paint. Gives to a setting tech. Her jumper is so good. Rebound put back by Abbott. It's good! 53-39. Oh, I'll tell you what. Hollis, also that is, just got away with the travel. Ball down low to Cortez. Now tipped away. Now near the timeline. Steyer has it. Steyer, right side to Halder. About 10 foot behind the three-point line. Give to McGinnis, and she travels. McGinnis had a wide open shot from the free throw line and passed it up. So Larkin back in. Holland comes out of the game for the first time tonight. Back in for Culver is Starlin. Brad Thomas on David Musselman. Lady Beavers up by 14 at 53-39. 
Now he'll get the inbound pass and get the full court press. Becky pushes for Rochester. Across the timeline right. Now high on the right side against the man to man defense. Now to Stacey after the 430 to play in the game. Rochester by 14 with 4 minutes and 30 seconds to play in the game. Rough around the defense. Out to Larkin. Alley one dribble. Now to Bounco high on the right side. Right in front of the Rochester bench. Couple of dribbles to move before bounce pass to Stacey Act. Keaton one dribble. Gives Larkin high on the right side. Larkin in the center circle. Back to Stacey Act. Right in front of the Rochester bench. Dribbles, dribbles around the defense. Now to Abbott who takes it outside to Larkin. Larkin pulls it out to Bounco. Four minutes to play in the game. Becky holds. Still holding, still running clock. Alex clock, clock, count starts, and she drives left. Drives it left with the four second count. Got a rough, rough around the defense. Gives the wide open mark and layup is no good. The foul coming on the cover, and that's going to be still holding the tip. Yep. And going to the free throw line will be Allie Larkin. So Pioneer has done it. They upset number one Winamac, 28-6. It's got to be 28. So, Pioneer finds themselves in the semi-state. Again, as Brad said, beating Winnipeg tonight, 28-6. Miss uh, Larkin will enjoy that, too. <laughs> Dating one of the Pioneer players. Second of the way, good again. Larkin makes both. And the extensive lead to 16 and 55-39. Holland doesn't get long, a very long blow. She'll come back in. Sires across the timeline against the man to man press. Sires with the basketball, now left side to Cortez. Cortez to paint against Clark and her jumper no good, but a foul coming on Allie Larkin. Took her to the line to shoot two with three and a half to play in the game. Larkin second. Here's a little bit of interesting fact for you. Oh, uh, I can't wait. Lady Zebras shot 21 free throws in the first half. They shot four in the second. Well, they definitely needed the free throws in the first half. That's yeah, they did. Cortez first free throw, no good. She'll have one more. Next back in, Bailey Abbott's had a fantastic second half comes out. 332 to play in the game. Rochester by 16. One more for Cortez. Eyes a second. Let's apply too hard. No good. Stay down with the rebound. Gives off to Larkin. Abbott with eight points overall. Six of them in the, in the third quarter. Yeah, I'd like to know how many rebounds she has. If I get range of attention, I'll get that number for you. Rough to Holland. Back to Rough, middle of the floor. Morgan, one dribble, bounce past the Malco on the near side. Malco against the, time, uh, the timeline, and we're going to have a timeout taken by Rochester. It's a 30. You're listening to Ladies Fear Basketball, 92.1 WROI. 3-12 to play in the game. Rochester leads 55-39. to It'll be Rochester basketball on the mound right in front of their own bench. Malco gets it into wide open Larkin. Thought about a three, passes it up. Now back to Malco near the volleyball line, around the defense. Gives to Holland near the timeline. Holland one dribble back to Malco. Double team chasing Malco. Now to Larkin. Larkin with the defense of Stacey Eck outside to Malco with 2.55 to play in the game. Rochester by 16. Malco. Allie Larkin's got to be thinking, why do they always leave me open when we're trying to stall the game? Yeah. <laughs> Larkin to the baseline. Down low to Stacey Eck. Keep travel. Great look. Great idea. Just a little too excited. 2.43 to play in the game. Rochester up 55-39. Dyer against Morgan Ruff. Works to the right wing. And her and the pass by Cal is knocked away out of bounds by Holland. It'll stay with Culver right in front of their student section on the far side. CMA is only two points in this fourth quarter. Really? Yeah. 55-39 Rochester. Two and a half to play in the game. Cal against X. Takes her left side on the block. Step back jump on the way. Too hard. Rebound by Holland. Now gives off to Malco and Coach Daisy X says, hey, let's slow down. There's no shot clock in high school. We don't need to shoot. Double team for Ruff has it. Ruff back to Malco. Near the timeline and the sideline. One dribble. Holland across court. X the elbow left. Loses the handle. Picked up by Culver. Dyer's double dribbles. No call. And then her pass is picked off by Malco. Two minutes to play in the game. Rochester by 16. Malco across the timeline. Works high on the right side. Picks up her dribble. Now to Larkin. Larkin drives the baseline. Pull up number for five feet. No good. And the rebound to Sires. Sires 
Her pass ahead to Cal, goes out of bounds, last touch by Culver. We'll go back to Rochester with a minute 43 to play in the game. Rochester by 16, and out coach Stasiak will use a 60. You're listening to Lady Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI. A minute 43 to play in the game. Rochester up by 16 to 55 39. Of course, this half started with Rochester up by two, going on a 13 3 run. Culver got it as close as six, and Rochester extended it from there. Yeah, they're on a 11 uh, 2 run here in the fourth quarter. You know, that's exactly what they did Tuesday night. They finished that game with a 14 4 run. Yeah. Rochester has two timeouts. Culver Academy has one. And it's a double team. Becky Malco with top of the defense to rough. To a wide open Larkin. Larkin in the paint, throws up a shot. It's no good. And the rebound to Culver. Dyers loses the basketball. Ball loses the floor. Stasiak dies for it. Culver rolling all around for his travel. Tony's like, do not do that again. <laughs> hey, you know what? You can't take the fight out of the girl. Bailey Adams coming in for Keith and she's done. <laughs> He does have the knee braces on tonight, though, or the knee pads, I guess. And the knee breaking. braces coming, Monday. Yeah. A minute 23 to play in the game. Rochester at 55-39. Holland around the defense. Gets to Larkin, a couple of dribbles. Dribbles to the volleyball line. Now to the center circle to Malco. Uh, Becky holds. Now splits the double team to the three-point line. Gives the X, cutting backwards towards the timeline. Now to rough through the timeline. Left side to Malco with a minute five. Becky around the defense. Picks up a dribble to the three-point line. Now to rough at the volleyball line under a minute to play. Rochester by 16, and now we're going to have a foul on Cal. And that's going to get Morgan rough the line for one of the bonuses. Cal pick up her third. It's going to be yep, one of the bonuses for Morgan Ruff. Again, in case you're just joining us, the Pioneer Panthers knocked off number one Winnemac in the 1A football sectional tonight, 28 to 6. Morgan Ruff with one and the bonus for the Lady Zebras. Eyes it, flies it, yep, 56-39. I think that's her first point of the night, but she has handled the ball amazingly. Actually, her fifth. Fifth? Yeah. I am not watching her first game. First free throw, though. Second one's good again. And Coach Chris Lee will clear his bench. Also, Grace Pfeiffer will come in. Lexi Elliott will come in. Kennedy will come in. And coming out of Holland, Malco, and Abbott. 56 seconds to play in the ball game. Rochester up 57 to 39. An eight-point cushion right now for the Lady Zebras. Hannah Odell in. Morgan Ruff comes out. And Bailey Abbott will come in. Emma Dahlquist in the game and Odell. I'm sorry, make that Bailey Abbott comes out. 56 seconds to play in the game, 18 point lead for Rochester. Hannah Odell is also in the game. Back into the game is McGinnis. And coming out of the game, his tires who had a good game. She had a good game. Yeah. I'm not sure what she finished with, but nine. I'm glad we got her in the first game of the regular season. Right. Nine? Nine. McGinnis. Down low, up to Frank. Frank's turn around, for no good. Rebound, Fulton has it, and it's tied up. And it'll go to Rochester. 43.6 to play in the game. Rochester by 18. And Culver will stay in that full court press. Good, this will be interesting. <laughs> Elliott gives it up the floor. Stripped away from behind and goes out of bounds. 38.9 to play. Coach Daziak screaming for a timeout for about 10 seconds and not one of the strikes hurting. <laughs> Give us a signal. Piper to Odell. Odell in the paint, gets it out to Elliott. Lexi goes left side, in the paint, loses the handle, ball loose, picked up by Culver with 30. Cortez layup is good, 57 to 41. 25 seconds. Lexi Elliott brings it over the floor. She loses it off her leg. And now we're going to have a foul on Lexi Elliott on the reach in with 20 seconds to play in the game with Rochester up 57 to 41. So it'll be Culver basketball, 21 seconds to play in the game. 
Up by six, uh, Rochester up by 16. Cortez. Shot on the way for Culver, no good. Odell with a rebound with 12 seconds. Now out to Grace Pfeiffer with 10. Grace over the top of the defense to Elliott with six. Lexi Elliott has him knocked out of bounds by Cortez with 2.5. And Rochester going to move to 2-0 and on the year. And Culver going to open their season 0-1. Elliott gets it into Pfeiffer and they'll hold it. The final tonight for the Academy. Rochester 57, Rochester 41. You're listening to Rochester Basketball, 19.1 number 4 alive.